How are they going out of this mess? Space, the final frontier. Hi guys, we're nice. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. And I'm Gerard. Guys, Star Trek. Yeah. Star Trek has been fun. That last episode did, uh, it that... kind of bothered me a little bit, but... Uh... You freaked me out. Explaining uh, it more, I'm and then I'm getting... Can I explain it? To yeah. Gerard? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm okay. It was freaky. It was. But it was good. It was good. So, I'm glad that we're back at this. This is this is the next episode. This is episode uh, 11, the Corbomite Maneuver. I have no idea what's going to happen in this episode, but what, what did you think of the last episode? It was good. It was really good. I liked it. As somebody that's delved deep into psychology for a few years, I, I yeah, right? it was definitely it was definitely a psychological experiment. You know, it, it was based off of that. And I do mean this when it, when it comes to sci-fi, I like that they touch on the subject. It was definitely a psychological thriller. Yeah, well, and 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 I like that you made that connection to uh, Clockwork Orange because made, that made a lot of sense to me. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know. But anyway, we are moving forward. Hopefully. Uh, we haven't seen like an action pack one just yet, right? It's all been like this. Uh, the last couple of them have been like this mind. Kind of freaky. Freaking out, you know, kids getting older and their age. Yeah. And very sciencey. No offense. I love science. Uh, but uh, we haven't seen like any fighting and no main nope. fighting other than Kirk punching a kid in the face. Yeah. <laughs> right, chopping a nurse. Technically. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, once again, this is uh, uh, season one, episode 11, The Carbonite Maneuver. Let's check this out. Captain Kirk is a menace if you think about it. He don't care. <laughs> But he loves Christmas parties, apparently. <laughs> this sounds really familiar, this, uh... Like, I feel like this has been referenced a few times, the Corbinite Maneuver. This one here? Yeah. Stand by to photograph. That's a different shot from above like this. This looks really old. Now. Oh. Like, I don't think this was remastered. This part of it was remastered. My curiosity is, like, how did they end up coming up with the designs of the ship? That's a good question. I wonder if there's documentary on that. Like, if they ended up referring off something. It's coming at light speed. Okay. We might get some action then. <laughs> Where's the captain at? Is this Boom one the cube. is this one the Rubik's Cube came out? <laughs> as simple as it looks, it also looks quite menacing. Yeah. If I'm in space and I see a shape coming at me, oh. a geometric shape. I know what this is. This is from the movie we saw with the simulator in order to train the lieutenants. You think so? I think so. The one that Kirk only passed because he, like, found a loophole, I think. I'm probably getting this so wrong, and I, I'm so sorry if I am. It's blocking the way. Quite unnecessary to raise your voice, Mr. Bailey. All engines stop. Sound the alert. Yeah, wouldn't you just go and then light speed? I'll be behind you. Condition alert. Captain Kirk to the bridge. I try to take a 10 minute nap and look what happens. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I was like, so much, that's how I was, was going to say that. So much for a nap, so much for a break. You know, I had to go pee and I just turn my back for a second, Spock. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Still went that Camera wise. Camera wise. Shot way. I'm surprised. Where are we? I'm surprised they didn't do a headshot where it's like that right, way. At us, right in front. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do that. On our third day of star mapping, an unexplained cubicle object blocked our vessel's path. On the bridge, Mr. Spock immediately ordered general alert. My location, sick bay. Quarterly physical check. Oh. That looks like fun. New record. Just a few seconds. 
Check out some more. As somebody with bad knees, ow. <laughs> and it turns out that this is how they power their ship. <laughs> <laughs> This is, where, even more, this is where you're on the show, bro. This is where you're on the show. Yeah, but for the one time, the, the once in a blue moon. <laughs> Kirk here, what's going on? Have a look at this, Captain. What's that? Undetermined. Whatever it is, it's blocking our way. When we move, it moves as well. A vessel of some kind? Negative. Or some type of device. Blow it up. Bring it on board. Jumped every time the light came on around here, I'd end up talking to myself. All days alert. I thought he was going to say I would end up seizuring. You going to put your shirt on before you start walking the hallway, sir? Excuse you. Fan service. Hey, man. <laughs> fan service. <laughs> if you had a body like that, you think you would put a shirt on? No. I, I, I'm i offended by this. I want to walk down the hallway with my shirt off. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> Without people screaming and calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's like a, um, a surveillance device? A what? Surveillance? Maybe. It's from China. I like these camera shots. These are, these, all these camera shots are we new. These angles. The yeah. Solid, but... I feel like I just walked in with the captain. How oh, something like that can sense us coming, block us, move when we move, it beats me. It might be sentiment. Sentient. Sentiment. How am I saying? So are we going to just let it hold us here? We've got phaser weapons. I vote we blast it. I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Bailey. When this becomes a democracy. Oof. <laughs> Can I put in my resignation now or later? Or <laughs> Origin and purpose of the cube still unknown. We've been here, held motionless for 18 hours. It's time for action, gentlemen. Mr. Bailey. Reach the phaser gun crew. Calamad. I'll select what kind of action, Mr. I'm Bailey. I'm sorry, sir. I thought you, you meant explaining, by... Mr. Bailey. I haven't All requested right. an explanation. You're relieved. Your job was to turn left if I say turn left. That's it. No, no thoughts and no questions. No opinions. No nothing. Shut up. <laughs> you gonna play chicken with it? So we move out of the way? Sulu's so smart, he knows decimals. It's fractions. I'm afraid you guys gonna launch an attack without the captain saying so. Hmm. How can this thing be? Yeah, he's gonna just. Yeah, this thing's gonna do it. Range 190 meters. Radiation increasing. Power is turned half speed. Half speed. It's the mirrors are spinning faster. It looks like one's going faster now. Still coming. Gaining on us. Engines are stern, full speed. Full speed. It is going yep. faster. Helm, give us warp speed. Warp one, sir. Radiation at the tolerance level. Warp two, sir. So they're going light speed? I don't know. They're, yeah, they are. Warp two. Passing the tolerance level, entering lethal zone. Range 51 meters and still closing, sir. Phaser crew, stand ready. Phaser crew reports ready, sir. What the hell? Yeah, he needs to resign from his position. Gone. The cube has been destroyed. Ship's damage, minor. But my next decision, Major, probe on ahead or turn back. Even I'm probe on ahead. Mr. Bailey, Phaser Cruz was sluggish. He was slow in locking them into your directional feet. Helmsman, engineering decks could have been faster too. Program a series of simulated attacks and evasion maneuvers. Keep repeating the exercise until we're proficient, gentlemen. I'm especially worried about Bailey. Navigator's position's rough enough. Season man. Alert. I think he'll cut it. Oh. I'm so sure. Because you spotted something you liked in him? Something familiar? Like yourself, say, about uh, oh, 11 years ago? 
Mm. You think so? We can just get that much credit? You've been reading your textbooks again? I don't need textbooks to know that you could have promoted him too fast. Listen to that voice. Mission alert. You know, I think if you are in space on a ship, then when you promote people, you gotta be super sure who you're promoting. Yeah. I mean, like, especially in gotta like be in, no doubt. Especially in like a military type situation hierarchy. What the devil is this? Green leaves? It's dietary <laughs> salad, sir. Doctor McCoy ordered your diet card changed. I thought you knew. Your uh, weight was up a couple of pounds. Remember? Bring some for the doctor too. No, no, no. I never eat until the crew eats. <laughs> then this dude's literally just eating lettuce. Just plain no, no lettuce. No dressing, no nothing, no chicken. Nothing at all. All decks to battle stations. This is not a drill. Repeat. Uh -oh. This is not a drill. Kirk here. We're picking up an object, sir. Much larger, coming toward us. A triangle. A circle. Not a circle. No. <laughs> <laughs> the pu perfect human. A circle and a square. There, sir. It is a circle! Did he just say square? <laughs> yeah, but that's actually a circle. Yeah, it is a circle. <laughs> Half speed. Prepare for a base effect. <laughs> Do you think you are too soon? That thing has a... Oh. Tractor beam. They're being sucked in. It's the Death Star. Jesus Christ, look how big this thing is. Yeah. Those are a lot that of mushrooms. That thing is huge! Pops. Fascinating. Little What's its mass, Mr. Spock? Reading goes off my scale, Captain. Really? Reduce image, let me see all of it. Magnification 2.5, Magnification 18.5, Okay, Bailey, you gotta go, Bailey. Yeah, Bailey is not gonna be yeah, in there you for, gotta stop. for a while. I'm gonna go back in the kitchen and make a sandwich. <laughs> Hailing frequencies open, sir. This is the United Earthship Enterprise. We convey greetings and await your reply. Yeah, I don't know if I would blow up this one. I don't know about this one, though. This is the captain of the Enterprise speaking. The warning nature of your space buoy was unknown to us. Our vessel was blocked, and when we attempted to disengage... We therefore grant you ten Earth time periods, known as minutes, to make preparations. Ten minutes? Falak's message was heard all over the ship. Captain to crew. Those of you who have served for long on this vessel have encountered alien life forms. In most cases, we have found that intelligence, capable of a civilization, is capable of understanding peaceful gestures. He's talking to them. To eventually understand our motives. All decks, stand by. Captain out. Well, speaking. Yeah, but he's doing that, talking to them, but talking to the captor as well. Of the USS Enterprise, we came seeking friendship, but we have no wish to trespass. To demonstrate our goodwill, our vessel will now return the way it came. Laying a course ahead, Mr. Bailey. What? Of course. Plotted. Laid in, sir. Engage. Wolf Factor 1. Bailey needs to leave. Yeah, he needs to be gone. Wrong place for him, wrong he's gonna time. kill some he's gonna kill. Oh, it's not moving. Switching the screen. I believe I can get something visual. Megalind? Is is the Oz from the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> the man behind the curtain. Yeah, the man behind the curtain. You have eight Earth minutes left. How are they gonna get out of this mess? First, you were Bailey. I don't understand this. Spock's wasting time. Everybody else just sitting around. Says the one that's not responding anything. See, Bailey. What do they want from us? Let's find out what they want us they to want do. They want us to lose our heads. We've Bailey, only no. got eight minutes left. Seven minutes and forty-five oh, seconds. Shit, he's doing a countdown. He needs to leave. He needs to leave. <laughs> Don't you know when you're dying? Watching regulations and orders. What do they mean? Bailey, you're relieved. 
About time. About time. And give him some milk of the poppy. Yeah. Calm down. Let's go. I don't know, he might start a riot. Mm. I mean, now they put him under house arrest in this room. I mean, I understand his reaction. But there's no place for it up here on the bridge. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that ship's huge, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a, it's a planet. That's huge. You have an annoying fascination for time pieces, Mr. Sulu. Oh, they, are, they have no patience for each other at this point. I regret that I can find no other logical alternative. Oh, so they're all lost. They, they really well, don't well, have any ideas at all. They, they have no power. They have no weapons. Something about Bailey. Let me enter it. My medical records is something for tea. That's my decision, Doctor. And it was your mistake. You overworked him, pushed him, expected too much out of him. I'm ordering you to drop it. Yeah, really, Captain? I mean, Doctor? Seriously. Your actions and my medical records. I'll state that I warned you about Bailey's condition. Now that's no bluff. Anytime you can bluff me, Doctor. Mm. Could this be them being tested? Mm hmm I think so. About chess, Mr. Spark. Checkers. Poker. Bluffing. Oh. Is the captain about to do a big bluff? Hmm. Uh. Since the early years of space exploration, Earth vessels have had incorporated into them a substance known as corbomite. It is a material and a device which prevents attack on us. If any destructive energy touches our vessel, a reverse reaction of equal strength is created, destroying... You now have two minutes. Destroying the attacker. No attacking vessel has survived the attempt, then attack us now. We grow annoyed at your foolishness. Hey, Captain. Yes, sir, what that's a, what we're talking about. Why are playing this game well? Forget about the two minutes. Oh, oh. He basically pulled a doomsday machine. Yeah. <laughs> ha! I think it worked. I regret not having learned more about this Balak. In some manner, he was reminiscent of my father. And may heaven have helped your mother. <laughs> oh my gosh! Sorry. Oh, having other things on your mind? My fault. Yeah, really. They probably don't know what bluffing is. They probably don't. If um, anyone's interested, 30 seconds. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe not that interested. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Ah, they bought the bluff. <laughs> yep. And your star map, we put down, do not come here ever again. <laughs> A very interesting game, this poker. Mm -hmm. It does have advantages over chess. Love to teach it to you. <laughs> the destruction of your vessel has been delayed. We will relent in your destruction only if we have proof of your Corbomite device. Hold on that. Let him sweat for a change. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really enjoying this episode quite a bit. Ship to ship. Hailing frequency, sir. Request denied. <laughs> we will soon inform you of our decision regarding your vessel. I thought the power was off in the galley. I used a hand phaser and sap. Hot coffee. <laughs> what about the blob? She's making coffee. Oh, 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 what's that? It's a smaller circle. Any move to escape or destroy this ship will mm. result in the instant destruction of the Enterprise and everyone aboard. So now if the smaller ship attack, 
the carbonite would blow up the smaller ship and not the bigger ship, according to what the rules this man put. Yeah. Okay, now that's I'm very curious smart. what no, this really is all about, in all honesty. My question is, how's Kirk going to get out of this? Well, at least he's offered him a chance to live on the planet than total destruction. At least there's a better option than what he had before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if they take that, if they take that, then they're... Well, we know they're going to escape. Their bluffing is going to fake. Shows, but still. It's going to show that it's fake. My plan? A show of resignation. Baylock's tractor beam has to be a heavy drain of power on a small ship. Question. Will he grow careless? Captain, he's pulling out a little ahead of us. He sneaked power down a bit. And warped the hell out of there? Sheer away from him. No matter which way he turned. Yes, sir. Maximum acceleration when I give the word. Yes, sir. <laughs> They're gonna tear ass out of here, bro. <laughs> Assuming that it doesn't have enough power to move on. Mm-hmm. Thing from that little ship. That beam is strong, boy. Mm -hmm. She'll blow soon. Now, Mr. Sulu, impulse power too. Yeah, I should have been had. Why are you guys still hot? Why are you guys still in the, <laughs> the hallway? on the floor by now. That makes no sense. Yeah, I should be somewhere sitting down, laying down. We're breaking free, sir. All engines stop! Keep going, boy. Go on, go on. A signal, Captain. Start stepping, dog. It's very weak. It's Balak. Start stepping. Was Balak on that ship? His engines are out. His life-sustaining system isn't operating. The message is repeating, sir. Any reply? Negative. His signal is growing weak. Is it to save him? That makes the best the best option. Plot a course for it, Mr. Bennett. Forward, Captain. Dead ahead. So is it something that they drained the energy? Yeah, because it was pulling it. So they were like going the opposite way, you know what I'm saying? So but, but that's what I'm saying. They drained the energy. They drained so the energy. They, now so they, they lost the life form. Right? Yeah. But they wanted to remember they, they were cocky too. Like oh, we're superior. Jim, don't you think what's the mission of this vessel, Doctor? That's right. Seek out and contact alien life. And an opportunity to demonstrate what our high-sounding words mean. Any questions? It's the best opportunity to do so. Captain, request permission to... Denied. If I'm wrong, if it's a trap, I want you here. <laughs> I, love That's how, a point. I love how he says that in front of Bailey, who is already proven to be very weak men mentally. Yeah, but if it is, if it is a trap, Ooh. you want Spock right there. Yep. Get out of here. Yep, yep. And at that point, he's solving two problems at once, taking Bailey out of the equation. Yeah. So. I'm not going to lie, I think I would try it once. But I know if I try it once, my spleen will end up where my kidney is. <laughs> oh, they're going to be like the size of a finger. Can you imagine? Like Gulliver's Travel? They got big ships, but they, what the heck? I was right! Puppet of some kind. What? That's a child! That's a whole little kid, bro. I always write about the Wizard of Oz thing. The the the. You really I didn't really watch. I was just making a joke, though. <laughs> How with those chairs? Oh, the head is so shiny. Oh, you can you can see the little bald cap. Would you drink this? Yeah, I'd slurp it. I'll go... <laughs> <laughs> and then vomit afterward, because it's like something... Gentlemen. Yeah, but you might have a different makeup, sir. <sighs> that is... 
those those teeth need to re some real work on them. Don't drink it all at once. If you do drink it too quickly, it's poison. <laughs> you gotta sip it. Commander, you get the squirts. That puppet, my alter ego, so to speak. In your culture, he would be Mr. Hyde to my Jekyll. You must admit he's effective. You would never have been frightened by me. It was a pleasure testing you. Oh, could be another bluff. I have no crew, Doctor. I run everything. This entire complex from this small ship. But I miss company. Conversation. Even an alien would be welcome. Me, sir, I'd like to volunteer. Ah, you represent Earth's <laughs> best, then. No, sir, I'm not. I'll make plenty of mistakes. But you'd find out more about us that way. And I'd get a better officer in return. <laughs> now, before I bring back the Fasarius, let me show you my vessel. It is not often I have this pleasure. What an interesting episode. Seriously. At first, I really didn't know where it was going to go about this. Both proud of our ships. I mean, they... I mean... They really put the Enterprise in a position. Well, he put the Enterprise in an interesting uh, situation. When they were trying to get away, he was on them, mm -hmm. and then he shut down their weapons, their, their 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 power. So there is something there. But the thing is, why step away from that big ass ship? I guess it was a test. I think the whole thing was a test. Yeah, the whole thing was a test. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting episode. I, you know, I for a while like these guys are screwed. How are they gonna get through this? Seriously. Then the bluff. Excellent play though by uh by the captain here. Yeah. What an interesting episode altogether. I I really thought it was gonna end up being like some hostiles. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Bailey's Someone dying. Someone's shot. Bailey. Bailey had me going nuts from the get go. Yeah, I know. He was. Uh, he like, was. Yeah. Leave him no. in this ship, please. Put him somewhere else. I'm not gonna lie. All this episode has done is made me more intrigued to find out about like what Klingons are and like stuff. Like, yeah, the other one that we heard about. The yeah, Klingons, like the, uh, the alien races that are like they, warring. Well, remember that drink in in the movie we saw? We saw the second movie. Yeah. And there was like this alcoholic drink that the cap that the doctor brought the captain. It was like a blue day. whiskey. Yeah, but it was but it, it was from some planet, some alien yeah. race. Um, and it's like, oh, this, isn't this illegal? So I wonder what that's where that's from. Are those people are from that that race of aliens? So yeah. yeah, it does it does make you wonder like what is out there? You know, what, in terms of intelligent life forms. Excellent. I love this episode. This was a good, this good. This was really nice. This was great. It's well balanced. Too. I, well balanced. I, I, there was trouble, but not really. But we didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was a it. mystery. Excellent. Loved it. I also love the how how we had such a big shift change in feeling. Like last episode, we were more afraid of what's going on. We were more like inquisitive. Whereas this episode, we were more excited to find out more about yeah, the more alien intrigued. a race with. Well, while also being worried for the Starship Enterprise. Well, that's the thing. The thing is that in terms of sci-fi, um, you got to think of it maybe back in the old days when people left Europe for the first time to go across the ocean and they're exploring. Damn, that was really old. <laughs> but I'm saying, but it's the same concept where yeah. you don't know what's out there. Uh -huh. You know, and then when you come upon certain things, I'm sure everything they faced was not all, you know, it didn't go well all the time. Like it's not you know, all in the textbook. Like, you know, it's not in the textbook. Or they don't know like the, the, these hurricanes they're facing and whatnot. So think of space in that same essence where we're exploring. When we get to that point, we're exploring. We don't know what's out there. Yeah. You know. And then when you uh, or, or or even not even just going out there. What what we had what we are exploring per ourselves. Uh, like the last episode, the idea of being mind uh, mess with. Us, yeah. You know. Uh, uh, so there's a lot of things in science fiction that. Is full of great wonder, at the same time full of great horror. Yeah, yeah big you know? time. Yeah. Honesty, because yeah. we don't know, we don't know. And I, I like what he said there that there's no such thing as nothing unknown. It's just hidden. You know, maybe we don't know it doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't know it. Yeah. So, uh, if you ever watched that video on YouTube of how big is the space? Yeah. Right. And when you watch that video, you're like, God, Jesus Christ. Yeah, because it's this so is expanding. It's expanding. This is enormous. <laughs> And we only know what's you know what's in our peripheral vision. Yeah. You know, which is still quite massive. But it goes beyond that. But not just beyond that. 
multiple times it goes beyond that, you know? Yeah, it's like it's like when you get like a microscopic scope, you have like a germ on it and you zoom in all the way. When you actually zoom out from the earth, we're like a speck of dust in on yeah. infinite expanse. Completely insignificant compared to the enormity of what's out there. Yeah. So and with that said, you know, what is out there that's you know could be considered a wonder? You know, when, when we we just launched that uh, that satellite what, a couple months ago, that uh, the James Webb, I think it's called. Oh, oh yeah, 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 the one with like multiple, yeah, multiple, multiple, yeah. And it's like we're getting great pictures, and right now there's something that came out recently that has completely destroyed all our thoughts of what space was, and right, wasn't and even like, the Big Bang Theory's on the question now. Yeah, wasn't there like a picture of also like, a, like a really crystal clear picture of a black hole that was taken too? Yes. That's a little bit older. I don't though. know which from this. Yeah, it's not from this shuttle, mm -hmm. this, this telescope. But it, maybe in the beginning it might be frightening some things, and there's something like, wow, this is something great, you know? Um, so, I, again, the reason why these shows are great because it makes your imagination, and you can see why people were being like, you know, I want to go into science. I want to go, I want to become yeah. a scientist. I want to be part of NASA. I want to be part of all these space programs, you know? Uh, what is out there? What, what? So every episode is either something worrisome, and finally, it's been a while that we saw something like this. Of like, wow, this is something of actually a great one there. Yeah, you know. And if these, if these aliens, that this alien and, and let's say uh, 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 the humans, the Federation, decide to swap technology, then then again we're expanding. You know, it's kind of like what we do here in America, in America, and in, in, in Earth, where we're doing uh, 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 global trading. Mm -hmm. You know. And that has made things a lot easier for all of us. Now imagine that in a scale of planetary trade. Right. And trading knowledge, trading technology, culture, trading information, everything. culture, all that good stuff. You know? So it'll be interesting. And I, that's what makes this show so great. That this is something that has been thought of way back then. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, so this is, I mean, this show is quite old. And I can see why, I can see why some people get upset was the new Star Trek that's coming out because this one here is hitting things that I was like, wow, it's, it's bringing out our curiosity. Yes. To the sciences. You, you think know, that the to new, what may be, what could be. You think that the new Star Trek is more of the what is inbound of just being entertainment? Yeah, that, that's probably what it is. You know, it may be that nowadays that, you know, and not that we've seen any of the new Star Trek, we haven't. But uh, trying to uh, uh, justify what people have said about, well, it ain't like the old Star Trek or the old Star Trek. Uh, or I can't watch that show because that show's stupid. It's always like, uh, like I, I, I hear a lot of crap on Picard. The, the show on Picard on really? Picard, that People can't stand that show. Wow. People, people who are Star Trek fans. And it may be because they're trying to make it more entertaining, more action more, film. More, the story is kind of like, you know, it's dumbed down gotcha. to what this was. Where this sparks curiosity, it, it sparks the imagination, and the other one is more like, oh, well, you know, it's there. It, it's 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 just another show under the Star Trek name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So, guys, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section because I what I'm feeling when I watch this show to this day now here we are in 2023, it makes me think of the stars. <laughs> you know, it makes me think of what could be, what is ahead of us. Where are we going? I'm going to be driving home and I'm going to be looking at the stars and I'm going to be like... Yeah, you know? Scare! Like, recently we had the balloon scare with China and then we shot down a bunch of the things that... <laughs> and it, on TikTok, it was a bunch of UFO things. Right? Everybody's like, oh, the UFO, the UFO, like a UFO scare. Yeah. Uh, uh, I even saw something with... Um, a, a, a conversation with uh, the director, uh, uh, Steven Spielberg. They were asking him about... I thought about these things that the UFO supposedly after after the balloon incident, you know. Yeah. And uh, he 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 made a few uh, comments that I find interesting. I I, I don't want to say for word for word because I, I'm sure I'm gonna mess it up. It's on YouTube somewhere. Uh, but I found it interesting. You know, people still to this day, no matter what your age is, there's a curiosity of what is out there. Are we alone? And at the same time, is it cool? Or is is it is it something great? Or is it scary? Should we run away? Should we not talk to anybody? Listen, they're gonna be like the large-headed freak aliens from like the first episode that can read our minds. Yeah, and hopefully they're good people. They hopefully they're good aliens. You know, as opposed to the 
wonderful looking alien with wings and it's pretty cool who want to eat us. Did, yeah, <laughs> didn't they eat, the, eat us? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, this was episode 11. We are episode 11, season one. The Corbin Carbonite Manure, which was, again, well played by the, the, guy that, the, the whole Cobra for the bluffing. Uh, a lot of a lot of things here, like I, I, I mentioned the, the the Wizard of Oz thing, and it turned out to be uh, right. something that was going on. What it made me think of. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you like what we're doing, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you guys supporting us. Uh, please spread the word. We want to hear all your comments so far about this show, this episode. Uh, especially if you like what we're doing here, our our thoughts of our, our conversations afterwards of what we think about this show. Uh, this episode, along with the other episodes that we have on our show, not just Star Trek, but other shows. Uh, are in our Patreon. You can see them unedited for as little as one dollar a month. You will find the link in the description. We also have um, we also have uh, 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 merchandise uh, store. We sell shirts. We sell cups. We sell a bunch of stuff there. Guy Dallas is a part of our channel. Uh, you also find the link in the description. Soon we're going to be having a uh, PO box uh, in case you want to send some information, some letters to us, and talk to us. We'll be free to have information and some letters and so forth. We're going to get some correspondence. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We are RNH. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. And I'm Gerard. And we'll see you soon. Take care. And gambling is good.